To the tens of thousands who watched his coffin to the grave, this was the burial of Bobby Sands' martyr. The full paraphernalia of an IRA military funeral, the Irish tricolour draped over the coffin after a funeral mass in St Luke's Church, where the priest asked the congregation to pray not only for Bobby Sands, but for the two other men who died last night, a policeman and a terrorist bomber. The masked escort in combat uniforms prepared to march the four miles to Milltown Cemetery. An army helicopter grinding relentlessly overhead all but drowned the tones of the Irish pipes. And there were shouts from the stewards as they tried to supervise the coverage by the world's press. For this was both funeral cortege and demonstration. Tens of thousands of people from all over Northern Ireland and from the south. A grim-faced demonstration of support for the political aims of the hunger strikers, overtaking the private grief of the Sands family. Such a procession had to be prevented from having any contact with a Protestant area, and huge screens had been erected to avoid even the sight of the cortege provoking trouble. The security forces kept their distance as the procession passed the Protestant Suffolk district. Outside a shopping centre in Andersonstown came the symbolic moment for the Republicans. Three masked men stepped forward and obeyed orders in Irish to fire a three-volley salute. Illegal uniforms, illegal shooting, all grist to the mill for the convictions of Republican and Loyalist. Among the mourners, the vice presidents of Provisional Sinn Féin, Jerry Adams and David O'Connell. There was a huge crowd at the entrance to the cemetery, perched on crosses and headstones. At the graveside, in the pouring rain, Sands' mother, father, sister and his eight-year-old son. Sands, the elected MP for Fermanagh and South Tyrone, serving 14 years for the possession of firearms, starved himself to death and into a place in Republican history. At exactly the same time as the Sands funeral was getting underway, more than 2,000 Ulster loyalists were gathering in Belfast city centre to remember the hundreds of victims of the IRA. Resentment at what they see as the glorification of terrorists has been building up in recent days. This special service had been called by the Reverend Ian Paisley to express some of that bitterness. The world unjustly focuses its attention upon the burial of an IRA convicted terrorist who took his own life in the Mia's prison and committed suicide by a deliberate choice he chose to die. But those that we remember today had no choice. But the emphasis was religious, and relatives of those killed by IRA bombings and shootings preceded Mr. Paisley in laying wreaths at the cenotaph before dispersing quietly their point made. 